Pra! Spice is in the house, my people, and let's have fun with out of worker lady stories today. Congratulations, Jordan, for the coming of the day. I also just launched a new self development channel, so if you can click the link in the description to support me, that would be great. Pra! I don't work here, and neither does he. This happened last year, but I thought it fit here. It is a funny story I tell my friends all the time. I used to work as a lifeguard in a community center swimming pool. Our uniforms were just a red t-shirt that say lifeguard on the back with the district logo on the front. As a lifeguard, I only work in the pool, not anywhere else in the community center. The ice rink at the community center hosts our city's hockey team. Their coach's uniform is a navy winebreaker with the team name on the back and the crest on the front. I also did competitive swimming during this time, so at least once a week. I would have a lifeguarding shift and then swim practice for an hour or two afterward. My friend plays hockey and is an assistant coach at the ice rink in the same community center. On Tuesdays, my swim practice ends half an hour earlier than his hockey practice does and I wait a half hour so we can hang out after. One day after swim practice, I take a quick shower get changed and go to wait for my friend at the hockey rink and sit near the front of the bleachers with my earbuds in. My hair is wet, I smell like chlorine and I am carrying a swim bag. In fact, I am not even in my lifeguarding uniform to begin with. I was wearing a black hoodie, black track pants and sneakers, something teenagers will typically be wearing in any setting. A lady comes up to me and says something I could not hear, earbuds, and gestures her hands. I was very confused, so I took out an earbud to hear her yelling at me, something along the lines of lazy, disrespectful, unhelpful, she'll get me fired. Oh, hold on man, can you repeat that? I'm confused. She's angry. My son's stuff was stolen on your watch. I'm not watching anything, I don't work here, I'm just waiting for a friend. I go to put my earbud back in, but she yanks it out of my hand. Listen to me, my son's very expensive clothes and stuff were stolen from the locker room. Aren't you supposed to be watching out for that? I don't work at the ice rink. People who work in the ice rink don't work as theft prevention. People at ice rinks walk around with weird stuff all the time. How would anyone even tell if it is stolen or not? I don't work here. You're in their uniform. No, I'm not. She then proceeds to call me lazy disrespectful, unhelpful liar who should get fired. So she grabs someone who she assumes is my supervisor. This man was just walking past us and I don't know how or why she assumed he was in charge of me. Your employee is very disrespectful, he should be fired. The man she grabbed was probably a parent of some kid who was at hockey practice. Parents often wait outside, sitting on the bleachers, a lot of them like to sit with their children's thing, presumably so they don't get stolen. He was not in any uniform either, he was wearing a plain jacket. Your assistant is rude and unhelpful, they should be fired. This man looks at her in bewilderment and says, I don't work here and I don't think they do either. The woman gets very, very angry. She starts ranting that we are both lazy, disrespectful, unhelpful liars. Eventually, she pulls out a cell phone and starts calling someone. A couple minutes later, practice ends and the lady's son comes up to her. Your stuff got stolen and these people won't help me find it. It was not stolen. I can't find it in the locker room. Which locker room did you check? The one at the south end of the area. I put my stuff in the north end one like we always do. The lady and son walk away. The man and I look at each other and we are both speechless. It happened to me. Well, tonight it happened. I was doing my part-time gig, which is serving small beer samples at a liquor store. This is an outside vendor job. This particular store has a serving station that looks like a counter. So I get it. It can easily look like I am an employee behind a counter. So when someone approaches, I start quickly with my speech. Hi, I am serving blah blah blah. This woman, let's call her Clueless, walks up and say, I need to know where the seasonal bear is. I am with ABC Brewery. I am doing demos. Would you like to try? No, I want pumpkin beer. Don't you know where it is? No, I am a vendor. I don't know the store inventory. She huffs and puffs and walks away. I am off serving my beer. A few minutes later, I see Clueless when an actual employee, and I think, 
Good, she found someone. Then the store employee comes over to shelf near me to point out a few beers. Clueless doesn't let this go. Oh, look, right under your face. I politely smile and said, I am still a vendor. Employee starting to crumple his eyebrow looking at her. She wanted help me. She does not work here. As he looks at her, then looks at me then looks at her again. Clueless gives him a frustrated look and said, Well, she still should have helped me. I start laughing and literally had to walk away. How entitled can one get? Just saying, if it was right under your face, wouldn't that mean she missed it too? You know, since you were both right there? Always double check what you're wearing. I work at a local appliance store and your uniform is a blue polo shirt and jeans. I had previously worked for the local big box store who just so happens to have a very similar uniform. I walk into to do my grocery shopping after work probably around 6 pm. On Fridays, the local big box store has a casual Friday of sorts where you can wear jeans instead of khakis and a blue polo. I walk around the electronics section for a bit seeing what all is new. An older lady stops me and asks if I can answer her a few questions about laptops. I politely tell her that I don't work here, but I'd be happy to help until someone who works here comes along. She is asking pretty mundane questions, but I help her to the best of my ability because I am pretty tech savvy and she reminds me of my grandmother. We chat and she keeps repeatedly thanking me and I tell her it is no trouble at all. I start hearing a foot tapping behind me and I can physically feel an eye rolling. I turn and there's a middle-aged woman tapping her foot with her arms crossed, looking agitated. I ask her if everything is okay, and she proceeds to ask how dare I keep her waiting at the register. I politely tell her that I do not work here, I am just helping this nice lady, until someone who works here comes around. She proceeds to call me a liar, and starts to call me every name in the book in front of this nice older lady. Now, I am mad. It never bothers me when people call me names being in retail for 14 years, but don't do it in front of the elderly or children. I proceed to tell her go find someone else to help her, I do not work here, and to lower your voice. This completely sets her off. How dare I talk to her this way? She's going to have me fired and I'd wish I'd been nice to her. I tell her to please try to get me fired from a place I don't work. I'd love to see this. Then she says something that is still in my head to this day. If only your mother and father had died before you were even conceived, then I would not have to deal with such a miserable piece of shit like you. Now I am finding bad tears because my father committed suicide long after I was born. I take a deep breath and calmly reach into her basket, grab her eggs. I open it and put one over her head and crack it in my hands dripping it into her hair. She screamed bloody murder and the older lady behind me just starts laughing. I begin to walk away and apologize to the lady I was helping originally and look at the woman walking away screeching about how rude my generation is. The funny part is my old manager was working in electronics and watched the whole thing and told me he tried with everything he could not to burst out a laugh when I cracked the egg. I want to speak to your manager. Once about a year ago, I went to an outlet store with my girlfriend. I worked at another retail store in the area, so I had on black t-shirt and black pants, and I still had a name badge for the store which I worked at. The employees of the store we were visiting all wore a blue polo and khaki pants, so nothing at all like my attire. My girlfriend was trying on clothes in the fitting room and I was waiting outside on a bench, scrolling my phone. There was no fitting room attendant in sight. A woman walked up to the bench next to me and stood staring at the room. I assume she was also waiting for someone. As my girlfriend had a lot of things to try on, she was taking a while. We both sat patiently and waited. Randomly, the woman says, Really? I look at her and she is looking at me, but I've said nothing to her, so I ignore it, thinking she's mumbling to herself. She then gets mad and says, I want to speak to your manager. This time, it was obvious she was talking to me. Baffled, I said, I work at this other store. She looks confused for a second and I say, There is nobody manning these fitting rooms, you can just walk in. She looks me up and down one more time and then starts laughing to herself. Why didn't you say something? She was obviously uncomfortable, 
but I didn't laugh back. I just shrugged. I mean, she didn't even say anything to me when she walked up. If she would have said something right away, I would have told her to just go in. Later, another customer at this store walked up to me and waited for me to acknowledge him. Really awkward because I was just shopping and asked me if I had a pair of jeans in his size. I said, I don't work here. He just apologized and walked away. Lots of people asking why I had a name badge on. I had left straight from work to go to the store. The name badge was bright pink and said the name of the store I actually worked at. Yes, I forgot to take my name badge off, but still. Also, obviously, I took off my name tag after the first occurrence. So the second guy really had no reason to come up to me. I was just an edgy looking teen with all black on. You don't work here, sir. As title implies, a little backward take on I don't work your lady this time. Memory was brought up from reading another post. So I had a good amount of experience working hardware. Not just the guy who doesn't know what you're looking for, but actual fully trained in each department manager training, and very knowledgeable in repair and part fabrication. Went from a job at a Midwest store where people save big money, to a smaller chain on an island 5,000 miles away, working electrical. Absolutely loved that job. Loved the people, the place, the work, all of it. I got to repair things for the store, help with marketing, and routinely perform repairs for customers. I made tons of improvements to the store starting with my department, this including creating stations for things like wrapping fluorescent tubes, wire rolling, repair shop, and most importantly for this story, I took down literally every single item in the entire department, took them off shelves, rearranged them to make sense. Instead of grouping up and down the aisle, now the switches are in one segment, organized, and had labels and display items for each. Same for the entire department. Even the civility stuff, a bins with ton of loose electronic components. If I didn't know everything we had before, I certainly did afterwards. Enter Sweaty Mad Man, SMM. He's looking for a light switch cover. It is a little rounded piece that screws onto your switch cover and blocks it except on one side, so people don't accidentally turn the switch on and off if you don't want them to. We don't carry them for whatever reasons. I explained this to him, but he has that essence of, I know more than you to him, not making eye contact, looking past and around me while listening to me. He insists we have them, because he used to be the manager here and he knows what we have. He calls me useless, then goes around me to find it himself, where he thinks they used to be. I leave him be, and about 15 minutes later, he comes back, angry. He insists I find it for him or call a manager. He gets more rude and his anger increases his sweat production and smell. So I've had enough, but have to stay polite. I know you've got them. I hate when young punks come in and get no training and can't even help customers in their own department. I'm sorry you feel that way sir, but I assure you we don't stalk them. Maybe we did when you were here, but for whatever reason we don't now. Maybe the demand is not high enough, as we have not had anyone ask for them until you. Things don't change at this store, I know you have them. You're lucky I'm not managing anymore because you will not be here. Okay sir, how about this? Instead of my manager, let me take you to a buyer. He's the one who picks and orders every single thing for a department. And maybe he can get some ordered for you. Sure, whoever can put you in your place and show me where they're at. So I get the buyer and explain the situation. He comes out and tells the guy we haven't stocked them for years. Tells him to leave and try Ace or Big Box Store or learn to use Amazon. Turns out, the store used to have every full-time employee be called some sort of manager for a while. Department manager, a system department manager, then part-timers. It only lasted less than a year before they scrapped it, I assume because it went to people's head like this guy. Also found out he had been fired and was never even working in my department. Just a superiority complex. It is not a huge victory or a great story, but I still think about that idiot sometimes and shake my head. Before you go away or enjoy my playlist of out of work lady videos, remember to subscribe to have a chance in winning one of the 8 Amazon gift cards I would give when we reach 5000 subscribers. And I also just launched a new self development channel so click the link in the first comment to support me if you wish. 
thank you for your support and hopefully you can help me create better videos with your likes and comments. My name is Spicy and I'm out.